Hi everyone and welcome back to the Web Design with WordPress 101 course. Today I'll show you how to embed a video on your WordPress site. An embedded video is a video that is displayed on your site but hosted on another. For example, YouTube is a popular video hosting site that people use to upload their videos to share with others. Once the video is uploaded to YouTube, you can embed that video on another site without having to upload the video to that site as well. Embedding videos, as opposed to just adding them directly to your site, allows you to save the space the video would take up on your server by allowing you to play it from another location. I'll also show you how you can use some simple HTML to manipulate the presentation of the embedded video on your site during this class. Embedding a video is the same whether you are embedding the video in a post or a page. Simply open up an editor and type in the URL address of the video you'd like to embed. WordPress has an auto-embed function that will embed a video from certain sources if you just type the URL for the video in the text editor. WordPress will only allow you to embed video from a trusted website that they've approved. So if an embed appears not to work, check to make sure the source of your video is from one of the sites listed in the codex link in the description of this video. You can also choose to use the embed shortcode, which allows you to set various options related to your video. A shortcode is like a placeholder for a piece of code that has been programmed to do a specific task. So when you type the shortcode in your editor, WordPress will recognize the shortcode you use and run that particular piece of code associated with it. Using the shortcodes for WordPress allows you to avoid directly manipulating the code associated with your site. There are several shortcodes that are associated with embedding videos from different sites. Let's take a look at the YouTube shortcode and how it's used to embed a video. Shortcodes are enclosed in brackets and usually used to embed an audio, video, or image file on your site. To embed a YouTube video on your site, type in the following. Bracket, YouTube, space, the URL address of your video, and a closing bracket. This statement will embed the video on your page. You can alter some of the attributes of the video by including extra terms in your shortcode. To alter the height and width of your video, type ampersand h equals your desired height, ampersand w equals, and your desired width. Make sure you include this before the closed bracket. Now the video should display using the size you selected. You can also choose to hide the related videos that are usually displayed after a YouTube video is finished. Just add the following to your shortcode after the URL for your video. Ampersand REL equals zero. There are other ways to manipulate your video besides using the attributes of your shortcode. You can also use HTML to change how your video is displayed on your site. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it's used to create files that are meant to be displayed as pages on a website. Using HTML, we can determine where our video will be displayed on the page, or how much space is between the video and the surrounding content. I'll show you how to do a couple of simple tasks that are frequently used when embedding a video. One of the things you may want to be able to determine is where on the page your video will be embedded. You can control this by using a bit of HTML. Open the editor for the page you wish to embed the video on and click the text tab at the top right. This way, WordPress will recognize that we intend for it to interpret the HTML present in the editor. If you try and enter the HTML in the visual editor, WordPress won't recognize it as HTML. Now HTML styles websites by dividing up the content on the page so that individual aspects of the site can be altered without affecting the whole site. One way in which HTML divides up the content on a web page is by using the div tag. Div is short for division and is one of several tags that can be used to separate your content. I'm going to enclose my shortcode in the tag so that I can edit the area around my video using HTML. Notice that my second tag has a backslash right before the D. This is the closing tag of the HTML statement. Whenever you create a tag, you have to have a matching closing tag. The div tag and other tags like it have an attribute called style. This attribute allows us to modify different CSS properties that change how our content inside the div tag appears. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, which is a language used to format a page written in HTML. Let's say you'd like the video to appear on the left-hand side of your page. 
include the following inside your first div tag. Style equals open quote, float, colon, left, semicolon, close quote. Float allows us to position an HTML element while allowing other content to flow around it. Left signifies where the video will be placed on the site. The two are separated by a colon and the statement is finished with a semicolon. In addition to left, you could also choose center and right. Now when you preview the page, your video should appear on the far left side of the page. If there is text or other content on your page, the text should wrap around your video. You can also use the margin CSS property to determine how much space will be between your HTML element and the rest of your content. You can do this by typing the following in between the style quotation marks. Margin, colon, 5px, semicolon, 5px, semicolon, 5px, semicolon, 5px, semicolon. You can leave the float assignment there and add this next statement directly after it. The semicolon serves as an endpoint for each CSS property and allows you to set multiple CSS properties on the same line. For this particular property, we've used four numbers that correspond with the four sides of the rectangle that surrounds our HTML element. The PX after the numbers tells our browser to use pixels as the measuring unit. The first number represents the top of your rectangle. The second, the right side. The third is the bottom, and the fourth is the left. With the margin property set, our video should now have five pixels of space around each side of the video. Another property you can utilize is the border property. This property allows you to create several different types of borders around your HTML element. Solid, dotted, and dashed are just a few types of borders you can include with the border CSS property. To change the border property, type the following in the style quotation marks. Border, colon, 5px, pound, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, solid, semicolon. The 5px represents the size of the border in pixels. The number is the hex format for the color black, and solid represents the type of border we wish to create. If you don't know the hex number for the color you wish to use, you can search the web for a hex color converter to find the color you desire. Now that we've entered the HTML, there is a border around our video. There are different types of borders that can be utilized. W3Schools has a list that you can utilize to find the type of border you wish to use. The link can be found in the video description below. There are several CSS properties that we did not cover that you could also set in the same way we did the margin, padding, and border properties. If you are interested in learning more about how you could use HTML, check out the W3Schools website. Their link can be found in the description below. Let's recap. WordPress has an auto-embed function that allows you to embed from a specific whitelist of sites. You can also use shortcode to embed video from the allowed sources. The shortcode also allows you to alter the size of your video, the start and stop time of your video, and whether related videos will be shown after your video is finished. There are different shortcodes that WordPress offers for each acceptable video source. Each shortcode has its own unique way of manipulating your video, so check the instructions page for shortcodes to find information on using shortcodes to embed from other sources. You can also use HTML regardless of the video source to alter the way the video appears. There is much more you can learn in regards to HTML, and the W3Schools website is a good place to start if you're interested. Well, that's it for today's class. Thanks on behalf of A3 for watching, and stay tuned for the next class in the series.